and they, I give my best. Win or lose for me, I like to give the emotion for my fans here and everywhere. Thanks, my guys. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. It's a heavyweight collision between the ultra-popular Brock Lesnar and the Grim Reaper. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Now, live from the Madison Square Garden Arena in New York, it's time! Three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Rock Blue And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario All right, guys, Yabasaki. get instructions in the locker room. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? Touch gloves. Good luck. Mario Yamasaki, our referee here tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Grim Reaper, Brock Lesnar. Here we go. Joe, the one thing we know about Brock Lesnar is he knows how to train like a champion. What areas would you like to see him improve the most in? Mike, what he's doing right now is absolutely perfect. What he needs to do is just keep doing what he's doing, and he will improve. Nice double leg. Joe, when Brock takes you down and gets on top of you, he can wear you down quickly. Yeah, you're talking about an NCAA All-American champion wrestler, and he's 285 pounds. Oh, he's down! Body shot. He's got to get inside or get out of the way of those up kicks. Nasty up kicks. He, he should just let him stand up. He's taking vicious punishment here. Outstanding takedowns. Brock Lesnar loves to be in top position. And if he's in his opponent's guard, he loves. Look, an arm bar. He's got to get the leg across the face. Nope. Oh, lost it. Oh, he lets him up. 
combination, left, right. Both men exchanging. Anytime he's got you in the clinch, you're in trouble. He's got the clinch again, which is what he wants. He's eating some punches. Pushing forward quickly. Tried to come around with the left. Came with the overhand right. Oh, caught it right there. Caught a left, pardon me, jab. Good exchange there by yep, both men. Absolutely. I don't oh. know how these guys are still standing. Excellent hands. Joe, this place is going wild. Trying to set up a submission. Very nice escape. Controlling the head again. Looking for a shoulder lock. He's going for Kimura. He lost it. Nice escape. He lets him up. Just over a minute remains. Body shot. Working in the clinch. Under a minute remains. He shoots. And another takedown. Side control now. Bang, yeah, right, right back, back to, to full guard. guard. Goes right into side control. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. 15 seconds remains in the first. Able to posture up from full mount. What a great brawl here tonight. These guys are really battling each other. Let's take a look at some of that action here. Hey, look at the score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score with your jab. Mix up your jabs a lot more, okay? Crowd him again, okay? We're gonna crowd him again. You're not going to wait for him. You're not going to wait. You're bleeding a little bit. We're gonna crowd him, punch him, yeah, and destroy him. The lovely Edith gets us set for round number two. Number two, Joe Brock Lesnar brings physical attributes into the octagon that we have never seen before. Physical attributes that are very hard to deal with. The man is a juggernaut. He is a giant super athlete. They said they were going to go, and they are going early. He eats a jab. Beautiful head kick there. Double leg, got it. He's going for He's got Oh, he lost it. A minute into round number two. Joe looking for the takedown here. Mixing up the strikes. Good jab. Good exchange, both men. Knees to the thighs. Oh, oh he got hurt with that left hook. He's down. How is he surviving? Oh, the referee's going to jump in and stop this. It is all over. Good call by the referee. Take a look at the replay, Joe. Man. Ground and pound 101. Yeah, let's take a look at the replay. Here you see him just standing over him, just pounding his face in. Not defending himself at all. Referee had no choice but to step in and stop the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by TKO Rock. Brock Lesnar reigns supreme. All right, I'm here with a true UFC veteran. We've seen you fight over the past several years here in the UFC, and we've enjoyed all of your performances. We thank you very much for your hard work and all of your fights. And it's truly been an honor to watch you compete. Thank you very much for all you've done for the UFC and for this sport. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Well, just as Joe has pointed out, he is indeed a UFC veteran.
And with that, as anticipated, this is the final time that that man will walk out of the octagon. The beauty about the fans of the UFC is that they fill the arena from beginning to end. I mean, the arena is pretty full.